This tutorial will demonstrate how to use Tactile 3D to organize image and photo collections that were taken with a digital camera. What we'll be doing is copying some photographs from, uh, from a memory card onto the hard disk. We're starting by moving the hard disk and the card reader containers uh, away from the rest just so we can easily see what's going on. And next we'll insert the flash memory card or the memory card. So the card was inserted, Tactile 3D um, recognized that it was that it was inserted, so now we can go inside and try and find somewhere in this strange directory structure the actual photos. As you can see, the thumbnails, Tactile 3D maps thumbnails onto the models. The thumbnails, the thumbnails do get cached, so you can expect the first time they're generated to be a little bit slower. However, they are cached in a compressed format, so subsequent visits should display them much more quickly. Hitting Control A selects all the files, and we'll simply select yeah. Copy. Clicking Home brings us right back to the root where we can enter our hard disk. And we can enter the directory where we store our photos. Now before dropping them, I'm going to create a new container for these files. And we'll give it a more meaningful name. And then we're going to drop these files inside this new container. Now, inside the sort box delineated by the eight sort corners, files will be sorted automatically when they're dropped, whereas outside they won't be, and you can see the indicator turns to white so that we know that we're inside when we drop. So right now if I drop, all those files will be sorted. The copy, opera the copy operation is proceeding at the moment, and unless there's a problem, um, we can still manipulate the files and select them, and so on. However, we do not see the thumbnails until the copy operation is completed, which will take another, according to the window, another 15 seconds. In the meantime, we can pan with the A and the D key. We can also use a directional pan by holding the shift key down, and it will pan in the direction that you move the mouse. And panning and rotating rotates around a pivot. If you have specific files that that you want to set aside, this is where Tactile 3D is fairly useful so that you can organize your content in a way that's meaningful to you. You can simply grab them and put them to the side. So you could, for example, put your landscapes in one area and photos of family or friends in a different area. You'll notice that when files are selected that they always face the camera. They are, in fact, they're facing the view plane of the camera, and this means that horizontal and vertical lines of the photo remain horizontal and vertical regardless of the angle that you're looking at the picture. And, and the, the point being that that you end up with just a scaling of the original picture. So it doesn't know strange transformations are taking place. Below any selected file, you see file details, including the dimensions 
and the size, which might be useful information. You can, of course, change the sorting arrangement by using the control with the number keys. So this is a cylinder, and it can be changed to some arrangement that you like. We'll, oh, we'll go with double helix. Now. To reset, that was the middle mouse button wheel being clicked in and rolled backward. To view the files, you can click roll forward to any object and it'll, you will approach the object. Using the greater than or less than keys, we'll cycle, we'll cycle through the objects basically next and previous. Holding the shift key down while pressing those buttons, we'll cycle by five. And you can go in here. Whoops. And of course you can go in either direction. I'll back up so you can see exactly what's going on there. So it's just cycling through the objects, holding the control button down while pressing either the greater than or less than key will reset the will reset the ordering of the objects for the particular sort shape, just so the first file comes first. To open a particular file, you can quite surprisingly press open, or you can right click and select open, or you can simply double click. When you do open a picture in the operating system default viewer, Tactile 3D will go into sleep mode and use fairly close to zero CPU. Essentially it won't use any of your CPU, just to give you a good, good reaction time and not take all the resources. In terms of sorting, to change the sort shape, which we've already demonstrated, you can use the control and the number keys. You can also double click the sort, the appropriate sort corner, to change the configuration. Or, of course, press the appropriate button on the sort corner. The different sort corners control how, how the uh, sorted material is displayed. Up here, for example, is uh, <clears throat> is the sorting key, which means you know whether it's sorted by type or size or date or modification time. Um, also, on the numeric keypad, you can go to any particular sort corner just by pressing the one three and one three seven nine keys. There are the four four directions. Um, in addition to strafing with the numeric keypad. Um, the top right is ascending or descending. There are also keyboard shortcuts which can be looked up by pressing F1 in the user manual. So I can I can <coughs> control E is by type, control D is by uh, by date, and uh, there's a couple of others. Control N is by name, which is the default. So that's the demonstration. Thank you for listening. <laughs>